All right, in the mode. Hi guys, good to see you. Quick lesson on convection. Why is it windy at the beach? All to do with convection. Right, let's look at this nice and quick. Sunny day, hot sunny day. All right, radiation from the sun. We'll cover that later. Radiation is heat transfer through space, essentially. All right, the heat from the sun is gonna warm up the sea and it's gonna warm up the land, all right? Now, the sea, water, and land heat up at different rates. The land is gonna heat up a lot quicker than the water. That's because water has a high specific heat capacity. That's for you guys that are higher level. If you wanna check that out, please do, all right? Now, what's gonna happen is the, heat, uh, the, land, the land is gonna heat up nice and quick and then, in turn, it's going to heat up the air above it like that. And the sea is naturally going to not heat up as much. It's going to have cooler air above it. All right. Now, as this air gets warmer, what's going to happen? It's going to rise. Why is it going to rise? Because it is less dense. The particles have more energy. They get further away. And so they become lighter. All right? Light things will rise, all right? Less dense things rise. So this is what's gonna happen to the air above the land. It's gonna get hot and it's gonna rise like this. What's gonna happen now? The cool air, the cool air of the sea is going to take its place. And look at that. Wind, air, cool air coming in off the sea onto the beach and that's why we go to the beach when it's hot because it's nice and cool at the beach. Now we can move this on a bit more, that's going to, the air is, is going to sort of go around like that and take, move across higher up because it's so light and the cool air is going to start to blow up like that. And eventually what you have is essentially moving air which is known as a convection current. I hope that clears up the question as to why it is windy at the beach guys. Good luck.